I'll show you how to properly use your chain tool so that your chains will last longer. Uh, this is my favorite band, brand, DID or uh, Daido Kogyo. Uh, it's made in Japan. I use this in my uh, BMX single speed, racing bike, mountain bike, mini velo, and stationary bike. So that's my BMX single speed. That's my mountain bike. So this is my stationary bike when it's raining outside. This is where I do my aerobic cycling. That's my mini velo. And this is my road bike or racing bike. By the way, uh, since I know bicycle maintenance, my family members, my children and I, my wife, share the bicycle. So I bought sizes that could fit us all so that uh, it will be more uh, practical. So I usually just stick to one brand so that uh, if I need a certain portion, if I'm trying to repair a chain, then uh, I'm sure that uh, it would be of the same size. Now you should have several uh, chain tools available because this usually snaps and breaks. This is called the thimble. It's the one, it's that part which pushes, pushes the pin here. There's a pin there, that one. So if you want to dismantle your chain, you use the chain tool to push the pin out. Okay. Now, there are two portions of the, in uh, multi-tools, they usually have just one canal here this part only they don't have this but in uh, uh, chain tools which are not part of the multi-tool they have two placement positions you can place it here or there now okay so I'm right handed so the lever is here no? So if your chain link is tight, this portion is for loosening the chain link. So if it's tight, it does not want to pivot, you use this portion. Now if you're pushing the pin out, you use this portion. Don't use this portion in pushing the pin out. You always place your chain here. Now it's like this. No? Look at the composition of a chain. It, it has uh, a bearing here. These are the bearings, and then it has an inner. It has inner plates. These two are inner plates. So the inner plates are here, and then if you would see, these are the outer plates. These are the outer plates. Now, if you're just going to push out the pin, you place it here don't place it over there because you will damage your chain so after pushing the pin out the outer plate should remain straight like this but if you use this portion in pushing the pin you might damage your chain and end up with this so you might spread the outer plates and this is now unsafe because your chain can suddenly dislodge itself and you won't be able to go back home unless you have a chain tool with you and reassemble your chain again so again if you're going to dismantle the chain put the chain here not over there now if you're going to loose to loosen the tight chain link you put it here and then just make a very small turn of your lever because if you overturn it you might damage the outer plate and you might bend it this way so if it is that way naturally your chain will collapse while pedaling and it's very hard to straighten this by means of your long nose pliers it will be damaged already so your remedy is to 
get a portion of her chain and, and remove the damaged area. By the way, if you're going to cut the chain, just push the pin up to this portion. Don't push it entirely out because it will be difficult to place it back without uh, your special tool. In one video, I showed you how to place back the pin in case you accidentally pop, pop it out completely. So supposing you want to remove the chain, just push the pin and then let it remain on the outer plate. Don't push it off entirely. You can still place it back, but uh, if you don't have any special tool, you won't be able to do it. In one video, as I've said, I've showed you how to place back the pin. That's still possible to, it's still possible to place back the pin if you accidentally remove it completely. So now let's analyze why you should not place the chain over here. When you simply want to uh, loosen it. Supposing this is a tight link, you want to loosen it, just place it here and then just slightly, slightly turn your handle it will loosen the tight chain link or in some videos you hold supposing this is the tight link you just hold it and bend the chain in certain in many directions and it un, until it loosens or you place a screwdriver there and then try to pry it out but that's dangerous because you might destroy your chain and if you use the screw, screwdriver you might do this you might completely completely bend your outer chain or your outer plate thereby rendering your chain uh, useless so the reason why you have to place it here when you're loosening the plink so you can imagine there's a play oh. see so uh, I hope you can see so there's a there's a space here so if you push it then the tendency would be for the outer plate to spread that's why you will now solve the problem of a tight link but if you push it very far away you'll damage it this way just, just tight gently push it in a small manner so that you will uh, make it loose already now if you're going to remove the pin you place it here so here if you would notice there is uh, there is I'll get the pencil there is a space here see that one so it's loose see there's play but here it's already this left portion is being prevented by this wall from going any further so again this is play so if you push the pin you'll be spreading the outer plates if you put push it too far you will be dislodging the you will be damaging the outer plates and therefore the inner plates will be dislodged so again if you're loosening the link do it over here if you are going to cut the chain do it over here why here because since there is no space here the outer plate is prevented from going any further so you will not end up with this problem now uh, look at this model this model has no screw here this one has a screw here the purpose of this screw is that in this particular model the chain fits snugly or tightly on this left side it has no play but uh, this screw prevents any kind of space here so if you notice that notice that your chain like this it has a play oh, like here here the play is big see here although the play is not so big there is still play so this screw allows you to remove the play then so you tighten it so 
So now it will have no play. See? So again, supposing you notice a play, you tighten this so that the screw will squeeze the pin there so there is no play anymore. See? Whereas if this is loose, there is play. So if you tighten it, don't tighten it too much. Just make it snug so that you will be removing. See, there is no play anymore. But if you loosen this, there is play again. If you tighten it, there is no play. This is what you're aiming for if you're going to push the pin like this. So, this wall and in this model, the screw prevents your plate from bending that way, the outer plate. Because if it bends, you're ruining, that, that chain is ruined already. So your remedy is to get the portion of your new chain. So for example, uh, this is ruined. You change this. Get the portion from your spare chain. That's why it's important to have the same brand and size so that you can interchange the chains if you need to repair or replace a particular chain link so let's review summarize so if this is tight you place it here and then turn it gently then check if it's loose already that's it don't overturn because you will be damaging the plate so if you're going to cut the chain don't place it here place it on the other side and then that's the time you turn to push the pin out like this don't push it off entirely retain it on the outer plate like that now in multi tools they don't have this portion they only have this portion so you're limited to cutting the chain you cannot use the chain tool in the multi-tool system when I say multi-tool it usually has allen wrenches, screwdriver and then there's a t an attached uh, chain tool so in this model you have two placements here for loosening the chain and here for cutting the chain so it's important to know how to properly use uh, your chain tool because uh, chains are very expensive uh, so it's also best to have uh, several chains available so that in case you need to replace the chain that is already worn you can easily do it now if you're given a choice at, as to what model to buy you buy this one with the adjusting screw here so that you can tighten this portion and remove the play because this one not all models are built uh, the same so here it's tight but uh, in some models see there's a play so that screw this screw prevents the chain from having play so here yeah. if you unscrew it there's play but if you screw it tightly there is no more play okay so if you're going to buy buy this one and if you can find the model where you can change the tip or the thimble buy it so that if this gets broken like this one you can replace it but this is disposable this is cheap made in China once it breaks it's useless already so you can just use it as a paperweight so that's it okay time for coffee oh yeah